Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing my second edition of the best products so far in 2021, the best drugstore products so far in 2021. I did a video like this a few months ago and asked if you guys wanted me to make this a regular thing and overwhelmingly you said yes. If you didn't see the first one of these, basically the concept is there's so many new releases at the drugstore and just everywhere of products that it can be kind of overwhelming and I do a lot of what's new at the drugstore videos where I share a bunch of new products the drugstore has released a few times a month but instead of waiting until the very end of the year to tell you all of my absolute favorite products of the year I do kind of a check-in every three months or every quarter where I share the absolute best products that have been released over the previous three months so I will link the first one down below for January, February, and March and then this video is focused on releases from April, May, and June. For those of you that may be confused, like didn't she just have a baby? How is she already back to filming? Definitely not the case. This is pre-recorded and just wanted to have a couple of videos to put up while I get adjusted to motherhood. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, the first product that really blew me away were these Burt's Bees Cream Eyeshadows. This one I have is in the shade Rose Cream. I feel like an issue that I have found with a lot of cream eyeshadows at the drugstore is how dry of a formula they can be. And I have the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize and the thing that I love about it is how creamy it is. Even on drier lids, it just goes on like a cream, but then it sets down to a super long lasting finish. That's exactly how I would describe this one. I feel like it's a total dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. And this color called Rose Cream is just absolutely stunning. You can apply with your finger, you can apply with a brush, and let me just show you this beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. I like to apply this with a brush, like a fluffy blending brush. Just coat it onto the brush and then apply it all over to my lid. Throw some bronzer in the crease and you're good to go. This also makes for a really great base for a more intense eyeshadow look, for maybe a bridal look, where you could use this all over your lid and then layer on a glittery or a shimmery shade. And this is gonna almost act as a eyeshadow primer and really grab on to the shade that you put on top of it. There are a few products from Burt's Bees, like their blushes, that I love, but overall, I can't say it's a brand that when they release something, I'm like, ooh, I have to have it, like how I feel about e.l.f. And so I kind of just tried these not having too high of expectations and oh my goodness, blown away. Definitely one of the best products this brand has ever released and one of my favorite products of 2021. All right, next up is a highlighter. And I feel like it's really hard to find highlighters in this category. I feel like highlighters tend to be either really pigmented and intense or really chalky and glittery and not intense. Hard to find that happy medium that's just a really soft, natural looking highlighter. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter is the only one that comes to mind that is just a subtle, beautiful glow. And this one also fits that bill. So if you like something like the Essence Pure Nude Powder Highlight, I think you'll really love this. This is the Makeup Revolution Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter. And I have mine in the shade So Glazed. First of all, the packaging is super high-end and stunning. You get a ton of product. It comes with a nice big mirror, and it's just an absolutely beautiful product. It looks like it could be Charlotte Tilbury. But what I love about this is you can't apply too much. Let me just swatch this right below this eyeshadow. So you can see it's definitely visible. It's definitely intense, but it's very soft. Let me show you in comparison to this is their luster highlight this is another highlight by makeup revolution that is the opposite of subtle so this is the really soft subtle one that i absolutely love and this is another one just so you can kind of see the difference do you see how much more glowy and intense that is whereas this is just a natural sheen on the skin definitely both beautiful formulas it just depends what you want out of a highlighter but for the harsh summer sun. I find that the softer, more natural looking highlighters can be a lot more flattering on the skin. And this one is one of the best ones that I've tried that is in that category. So definitely highly recommend this one, not only because it's beautiful, but because I think it gives that perfect subtle highlight. All right, next up is a lipstick. And you guys won't be surprised because I think I've talked about this two or three times now on my channel. I love it. It's the NYX 
Lingerie Lipsticks XXL. I have mine in the shade Flaunt It, and I absolutely love this color. This is what the color looks like. We'll just destroy my hand in this video. That's what the color looks like. It's a little bit more pink than what I typically go for, but I really, really like it. If you would have asked me a couple of months ago if I would be obsessing over a matte liquid lipstick again, I would have been like, no, those are so over, not into those anymore. But this formula blew me away. It's extremely long lasting. This is mask proof. It will last all day long, but it also doesn't look like a super matte liquid lipstick. It has a really soft kind of matte finish where it's not highlighting dryness on your lips, but it's giving you that long lasting color. So if you, very similar to me, wrote off matte liquid lipsticks, you're like, I'm over those, they're done, but you really miss the longevity that they provided, I'm telling you, Give this a try, you will not be disappointed. It is beautiful. Speaking of lipsticks, I have one other lipstick that made it into this video of releases that I am so obsessed with. And I feel like not enough people are talking about these. These are new lipsticks by L'Oreal. They're the L'Oreal Color Rich Nude Intense Lipsticks. Tell me that these don't look like they are YSL lipsticks. These two colors that I have, 173, which is new impertinent and 171 which is new confident are just so good this range has such amazing nudes which is pretty much all i wear so <laughs> definitely my type of lipsticks i'll show you guys these two colors this first one new confident this is the first one that i got oh my gosh so stunning has a little bit of like a warm pink undertone and then this one which is new impertinent is a little bit on the cooler side so this one has a little bit more purple in it both absolutely stunning. I'm wearing the new impertinent right now, but both of these are stunning, stunning colors. The formula on these is really moisturizing. It leaves a nice sheen, but it's also really long lasting. It almost leaves a stain on your lips. I find that even after the lipstick feels like it's gone, if I look in the mirror, my lips are still stained that color, which I really like out of a lipstick. So if you're in the market for a new lipstick, you can't go wrong with either of these formulas. All right, next up is a concealer formula. And this is another one by Makeup Revolution. This is the Eye Bright Concealer. As you guys know, I bought this in the shade Deep Caramel and I have been using this as a contour, which I have been loving. You can get really precise with your application with this. I just twist it up quite a bit and then apply it where I would apply my bronzer and blend it out with a sponge or a brush. I find a brush is the best way to blend this out and it lasts all day long it really really sets down i would say if you have extremely dry skin you may not like this as much because it does set down so much if you like more of a really really creamy contour i would go with like the soul cream bronzer or the physician's formula cream bronzer this one is a little bit more oily normal skin friendly i would also say this is not a product that you would want to just like leave on your face after you apply it where you want to kind of dot it wherever you want to Go ahead and blend it out. Don't let it sit there for a super long time or it gets harder to blend. But if you use this right, it is one of the best liquid slash cream bronzers that I have found at an affordable price. And I also have this in a concealer shade that works for my under eyes. And at first I really didn't like it as a concealer because it just didn't provide the amount of coverage that I wanted. But on an everyday basis, if I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look or just wearing an SPF all over my face and want something really natural, I have been enjoying the concealer, just not as much as using it as a contour. All right, next up is an eyeshadow palette that has blown me away. This is the LA Girl Hey Hey Vacay eyeshadow palette. This is massive. It comes with a huge mirror and such stunning colors. The pan sizes in here are huge, so you're getting a ton of product. Even though it is on the pricier side, you're getting the amount of product that you're paying for. You've got such stunning pigmented shimmers. I love this shade right here. It's the shade that I have on my lids right now. And then this one as a crease shade. This whole kind of row is perfect for summer. And then I like that you have some pops of color with the green and the orange. And I feel like this is a palette that can easily transition into fall. It's not like super bright pink and fluorescent colors that are very summery. This, even though it is geared toward a summer audience with Hey Hey Vacay on it, will be a beautiful palette year round. So I absolutely love this. And then last but not least is a newer find for me. I talked about this recently and it has quickly become one of my favorite products of the year and it's the Juvia's Place Bronzer Palette. I have mine in the shade Tan. It comes with two different colors, a cooler tone and a warmer tone, and a huge mirror. I don't wanna talk about it for too long because I just talked about this in a recent video, but beyond how amazing the formula is, it's a matte formula that just 
glides onto the skin, blends seamlessly. It's everything you want out of a bronzer. Where I think this range really shines is their shade range. If you have a super fair skin tone, if you have a super deep skin tone, there is something in this range for you. This is on the pricier side, it's $18, but Ulta always has 350 off coupons and you are getting two bronzers out of one palette. So definitely keep that in mind. But that is everything. If I had to pick my absolute favorite releases from the last three months, it would be these products right here. I think they are absolute must haves. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Like I've told you guys, I'm gonna be taking some time to adjust to motherhood of two, but I sincerely, appreciate all of your love and support and I'm really excited to start filming videos again once I am back in the swing of things and healed and ready for it. So thank you again for your patience and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.